Hello everybody, Truman5000 here. I was going to do a, well I did do an unboxing video, but it didn't quite work out. My camera was trying to focus between too many things, and once YouTube got a hold of it, it looked like a bad LSD trip. I'm not telling you, things were bending, melting, doing all kinds of stuff. So, I pulled it. If anyone was watching it or was going to watch it, uh, I'm going to do another one probably next week. I got something coming in from Europe, and uh, I hope you're going to like it. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, you've seen an example of it in the movies. That's all I'm going to give you. But anyway, this will be about my new Frank Beltram 11 inch dark horn. But a quick word on how things come to you. The packaging. Okay? What you see on the table are inexpensive knives from various vendors across the web. Here's a $25 knife. It comes in a nice little box. It says it's from Spain. And here we go. Nice little battery. Alright, cool. Nice boxing. Came inside a regular postal mailer. Alright. Another thing from Spain, another ballet, but check out how it comes, y'all. This came with a cardboard sleeve, all right, you push this out of the sleeve and bam, it's a $45 knife, but look at the presentation, <clears throat> excuse me, look at the presentation, look at the presentation, nice little foam, and for all you injection mold people out there, uh, and a non-color box, you know, you know, not bad, but the thing about it is, yeah, it's a cheap ballet, yeah, it's a knockoff, look at the presentation, whammo, pretty cool, pretty cool, but another knockoff from China, black, silver, sleeved, box, Ah, uh, here we go. And we get more and more as we go deeper. A cheap polymer fiber pouch and a big old ugly knife inside. Whammo. But look at the packaging. Look at the presentation. And that brings me to the star of this show. My Frank B. Look how it comes. Plastic bag with a rubber band. Such an inglorious way of transport, don't you think? A hundred dollar knife. This knife costs more than everything that you saw on the table combined. And yet, plastic wrap and a rubber band. Just a little food for thought. I know we're probably saving a buck or two by getting them the way we do, but I don't know. I'd like to see a little bit better. You know, a, a, a $100 knife deserves better than a half of a baggie. But anyway, here's my, here, here's my latest. Dark horn. Got little stuff on the front. Nice and all dark on the back. Nicely centered. Typical Frank B quality. Brass liners. All the rest stainless construction. Uh, you know, just a great piece that we all know. And love. Uh, Probably one of my favorite profiles of the Italian stiletto. I can get her in there for me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I 
told you I'd get you, Marco. I told you I'd get you. <laughs> uh. There she is, folks. Yeah, you know, there's Frank B. Italy right there. The infamous bayonet blade. I call it infamous because, well, you, you see it everywhere. <laughs> I don't know, my better get it a bit, boy. I'm on the side of the camera looking up and down, so my perspective is a little weird. You're, you're going to probably get some weird shots, too. But anyway, there she is. I, I, I really like the brass liners with your darker scales. It really, it really shows up really nice. And, you know, another simple stiletto by one of the masters. And just for a little hint, I'm really thinking of getting a 13 inch AGA. Oh boy. But you know, my Frank B's will always be there. All right. Well, I'm going to keep this one nice and short so it doesn't take a month to upload. So, I'll see you guys probably next week with a true unboxing. And I'll try not to have a lot of crap on the table so the video looks weird. Alright, see you guys later. Truman 5000.